Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the parts under the hood on my 2006 Toyota Corolla. And this should be the same for the Toyota Corolla years 2003 to 2008. And I do have some videos that talk more in depth about some of the parts that I'm going to show you today in this video. And I'll link that playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and want to learn more and have the time, please check that playlist out. Also, whenever you're working with vehicles, make sure that you're always wearing the proper safety equipment. For today's video, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles, and make sure that you take all safety precautions. Okay, let's take a look at some of the parts under the hood on my 2006 Toyota Corolla. And all the locations that I'm going to show you today are for the 1ZZ-FE engine. Uh, Toyota for the Corollas did make a 2ZZ-GE engine, and if you do have that engine, there may be some slight variations to the locations of the parts that I'm going to show you today, and just refer to your owner's manual for the specifics of the part locations that I'm going to show you. Okay, the first couple things that I'm going to show you have to do with the engine oil. This is the engine oil dipstick. Uh, this is where you can check the level of the engine oil. And then this is the engine oil cap. Um, and if you take this cap off, this is where you can add the engine oil. And it tells you right on top of the cap here the type of engine oil to use. Okay, this is the radiator cap, and this is the engine coolant reservoir, and then this is the engine coolant reservoir cap. And before you ever do anything with the engine coolant, you want to make sure that your vehicle is all the way cooled down. You never want to try to open the radiator cap or the engine coolant reservoir cap while your engine is hot because it will explode all over the place and it's incredibly dangerous. So before you ever do anything with the engine coolant, make sure that your vehicle is all the way cooled down. And if you do need to add engine coolant to your vehicle, I have a video that shows how to do this in detail, and it will be in the playlist that I link at the end of this video. So if you're interested, please check that video out. Okay, and then just off to the side of the engine is the power steering fluid reservoir. This is it right here. And if you're low on power steering fluid, uh, you may be having issues with your power steering. Okay, and then off on the same side of the engine and in front of the power steering fluid reservoir is the washer fluid reservoir. And you want to make sure that you put the correct washer fluid in here. You don't want to put just water because if you do when you reach freezing temperatures, uh, the water will freeze and can damage the windshield wiper washer system. Okay, and then the alternator is right here. Um, and if your alternator ever does go bad on you, I do have a video showing how to replace this. And then the serpentine belt um, is right there, you know, and it wraps around a bunch of different pulleys on the side here. And I also have a video showing how to replace that. Okay, and then the starter is right down here. Um, it's got that red sticker hanging off of it there, and I do have a video showing how to replace the starter, um, so if you do need to replace your starter, make sure to check that video out, and it will be in the playlist at the end of this video. Okay, and then on this side of the engine is the battery right here. And then just behind the battery is where the air filter goes, so the air filter goes underneath this cover here. And then this right here is the mass airflow sensor. Okay, and then just behind the mass airflow sensor is the brake fluid reservoir. This is also known as the master cylinder. And then this is one of the fuse boxes right here. Um, this vehicle does have two fuse boxes. And I do have a video that talks about that in more detail that I'll link in the playlist at the end of this video. Okay, so this is what's in the owner's manual. This is the engine compartment overview for the 1ZZ-FE engine. And then on this page over here, this is the engine compartment overview for the 2ZZ-GE engine. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video, and I hope it's been helpful. Make sure to check out the playlist that I'm going to link at the end of this video. 
I do have videos where I go more in depth about a lot of the things that I showed you today in this video. So if you have the time and you're interested, please check that playlist out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.